broadcasting across Australia and across the world. This is Live FM. My name's Ralph Barber, and uh, I'm just had such a wonderful day here at STEM Mad 2019. I've got the crew. Uh, it might well be my last session with uh, kids before the big awards ceremony very, very soon, but it's a crew from Christ the King Primary School in Newcomb. Emma Rhodes is a teacher, three, four teacher, part of the STEM team uh, there at the school, and also joined by Hunter, Jasmine, Lauren, Jeff, Jet, and Micah. How are you guys? How are you going? Good, thank Good. you. Good. You're, Good. It's been such Good. a long day, and it's a busy day, but you've got all the energy in the world. I can't wait to speak to you about, uh, about what you did today. Now, Emma, I'll speak to you in a sec about the STEM project at uh, Christ the King. But, Hunter, tell me about the project or the innovation you guys presented today. Uh, so what we were trying to do was to give people in Timor less stay um, sustainable lives. And so... We, we used what they had a lot of that we could make into our prototype and then use the prototype to make a actual model. Fantastic. Now, Jasmine, tell me what's so important about doing this for the people of uh, uh, East Timor. Um, what's important is that we want to make their lives more like ours. So we want to, like make them have more electricity like us. Fantastic. It's a wonderful thing you're doing because if you can help people every day like that, they're going to have better lives, aren't they? Yeah. Fantastic. So, Lauren, what was the inspiration around this? Who brought this up? Um, you know, where did the idea come from? Well, um, our principal, he goes to East Timor. And he just had a, an idea that they needed yeah. something over there, and he presented that idea to you guys, and you thought it was a good idea? Yeah. Fantastic. So, Jeff, tell me about what you loved most about this project. Uh, I loved most when we started building because we got to use new materials and try out what worked and what didn't work. Fantastic. And uh, yourself uh, there, Jet, what was your role in the project? Pardon? What was your role? What was your job in the project? Well, we didn't really have any jobs, but so we all helped with the project. We, we weren't really set to any jobs, so... Was there one yeah. part of what you had to do that you really liked? Um, yes, there was. I liked when we tested it because um, it was you got really... You've got a big smile on your face. What happened when you tested it? Yeah, it was really like... Oh, my gosh. Is the water going to be clean or not? Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's very so, exciting. Fantastic. And, Micah, what was the biggest challenge for you in the, during this project? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think it was um, get trying to make it stand up properly so it wouldn't fall over. And it, it took a couple of times for you to work that out? Yeah. It took Fantastic. It. And this is what I love about these sort of projects, um, there, Emma, because what happens is that these kids – um, uh, are becoming more resilient because they've got to go through this, probably fail a few times and get it right. Becoming so much more resilient and more collaborative and finding different solutions. So knowing that there's not just one way, there's multiple ways to be successful. Fantastic. Look, it looks like the awards are starting very, very soon, guys. Thank you very much for joining me today. I wish I could have a longer chat to you. Thank you for but, having uh, us. Yeah, and Thank thanks, you for having me. Thanks Thank for you. having uh, you know, the, the goodwill to come in and, and show us your new innovation. Uh, I think it's going to do and do things that will change people's lives in East Timor. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. The, that's a crew from Christ the King Primary School in Newcomb. Uh, Emma Rhodes, a teacher, 3-4 teacher there, part of the STEM committee. Hunter, Jasmine, Lauren, Jeff, Jet and Micah. I'm Ralph Barber.